and look at 3.1.2 relative formula mass. So the relative formula mass is the sum of the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the formula. So in a balanced simple equation, the relative molecular masses of all the molecules or compounds on the reactant side is going to equal the relative atomic masses of the molecules or compounds on the product side. So reactant mass is going to equal the product mass. That's because no atoms are lost or gained during a chemical reaction. So I'm going to offer you some tips in terms of being able to work out the relative molecular masses of substances. First of all, Spend some time looking at the periodic table. You'll always get one in the exam, but wouldn't it be great if you knew some numbers off the top of your head? That way, you've got lots of confidence when it comes to looking at them in the exam. Here's something to know. Make sure you know hydrogen is one. Make sure you know carbon has got a relative atomic mass of 12, nitrogen 14, oxygen 16, sodium 23, chlorine 35.5, magnesium 24, calcium 40, potassium 39. Just make sure you know some of these so that when they come up in the exam you've got that confidence to be able to just say it. But always check. Second tip is this, know your compounds. There's some standard ones that you'll come across. Hydrogen chloride, hydrogen 1, 35, uh, chlorine 35.5, so hydrogen chloride is 36.5. Carbon dioxide, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16, but there's two oxygen atoms. So it's 12 plus 16 plus 16, carbon dioxide's molecular mass is 44. Magnesium oxide, magnesium 24, oxygen 16, magnesium oxide 40. Sodium hydroxide, sodium 23, oxygen 16, hydrogen 1. Add them together, equals 40. This is my favourite, calcium carbonate, calcium 40, carbon 12, oxygen 16, but there's three of them. 16 times 3 is 48, plus 12 is 60, plus 40 is 100. Calcium carbonate's relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass is 100, exactly. Nitric acid, hydrogen 1, nitrogen 14, oxygen 16 times 3. 16 times 3 is 48, plus 14 for nitrogen is 50, 62, plus 1 for hydrogen is 63. So the relative formula mass of nitric acid is 63. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Hydrogen is 1, but there's 2 of them. Sulfur is 32. And oxygen is 16, but there's 4 of them. 16 times 4 is 64. Plus 32 is 96. Plus 2 for hydrogens is 98. The relative formula mass of sulfuric acid is 98. So that's the second tip. Make sure you know or make sure you've worked out at least a number of times the relative formula mass of common chemicals that you'll come across. And finally, once you've got the common ones done, practice, practice, practice. Again, just do a Google search for um, uncommon compounds or molecules and you'll find some of them. And all you need to do is get your periodic table out and have a go at working out the relative formula masses. So have a go at these ones that are listed below, um, probably ones you won't come across or ones you should come across actually because they are on the specification um, but just make sure you know and can work out the relative formula mass of these. Leave a comment below if you're unsure about any of them um, and we'll see if anyone else can help you or answer those for you.